An Oracle database appliance has just been delivered to the database center, and Jess is getting ready to put it in a rack. First, she grabs the poster out of the box. It's a great cheat sheet and tells her everything she needs to know to deploy the appliance. Before racking the appliance, Jess attaches the side rails and then slides it into the rack. Using the poster as a reference guide makes this simpler than hooking up a new TV. Jess attaches the two network cables to the redundant public network and another to the ILOM management port. Once the network is connected, she plugs in the two power cords, preferably to two different power sources, and powers it up. Most database servers use static IP addresses. We need to connect a monitor and a keyboard to the server console port, connect it to the system, and configure the network. The Oracle Database Appliance ships with a wizard that makes configuring the network a breeze. It takes less than 30 seconds to put the appliance on the network. Data centers are not the most hospitable places to hang out. No comfortable chairs and lots of fan noise. Now that the server is on the network, Jess can retreat to the comfort of her office to continue the deployment. All it takes now to deploy the appliance is a web browser. Jess connects from her workstation to the Oracle Database Appliance, logs in, and starts the deployment wizard. It only takes a few minutes to complete the deployment wizard. Jess fills out each screen with information about the system, such as its name, time zone, location, and master password, adds additional network information and ILOM management information, and of course, she specifies her database information. We create a database during the deployment, so the system will be ready to do some work immediately. Intelligent templates help her specify the configuration in only a few minutes. Lastly, Jess can choose to configure automated service requests. This enables the system to proactively notify Oracle support of any hardware issues so they can initiate service without customer involvement or delay. Once she is done, she submits the job. It takes about 30 minutes for the deployment to complete. Jess can monitor the progress, or she can spend the 30 minutes on more important tasks, like responding to voicemails. After approximately 30 minutes, Jess returns and finds her appliance is fully deployed and her database is up and running. She then logs into Enterprise Manager to create some database tables so she can start loading data. If you would like to see for yourself how quickly you can deploy Oracle Database Appliance, we invite you to try it out at the Oracle Solution Center. For more information, contact your Oracle representative or visit us at oracle.com slash ODA.